Hello and welcome to Paragon Gaming UK. This is Max Payne 3 on the Xbox 360. Um, playing on medium. Let's check it out. This place is great. Really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously as you can see he has problems you'll see him start drinking as well you'll see the screen blur and the colors go a bit funny every now and again as well that's actually on the game that's not my recording equipment. Definitely more my style than Panama. Or Hoboken, I guess. No. If I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It's certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny, ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. 
Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I think that bit we is bald then, I think that's from the future. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local businessman built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Right, look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Slow motion dive in. Dual wheel two pistols. Right. 
We are now back in the game. I'm playing. The best thing you need to do is use cover. Because if you're good running out a lot, you will just die a lot. <laughs> That was the boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. When you look at enemies you can see bullet holes in them, which is one of the main things I like about this game. You can also interact with certain, certain things like this piano, there is TVs later on in the game you can interact with as well, and maybe other stuff, I've not completed this yet, I've had a little go to get used to it, and then I thought I'd record it for you. It wasn't the time, um, and I was still a little rusty. But Your health bars in the bottom together. right hand corner, that way you can, well I'm half Just health left this now. New start of in the bottom right where you can see my, um, the picture of the character, you'll see it, it's half full with blood, that she means I'm half the dead. And the I blood, the more blood, the worse. So if off. I press up on the d-pad, I've healed myself of eating a painkiller and you notice now the number that was on the body, which is what is now three, it used to be four, that's your painkillers, that's how much many packs basically got to help painkillers. The other bar at the side of that. Sooner or later I'd have to go out there and see what was happening. Oh, bulletproof glass. The other side of that is the slow motion meter. It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. I think the blurriness on the videos is actually him being drunk. You get that often with the final kills for the area slow motion with a bullet following it. Nice work. It's pretty cool, I think. Hey, you need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Uh, where's Bronco? After a few failed shots, I think I hit him. Didn't kill him though, but I think he's dead now. The bodies are supposed to react as if they would in real life to the bullets, which I think is pretty good. <laughs> Trying to get the perfect headshot. I'd done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. As you can see, bullet holes in the body. And again. And the blood, obviously. Make sure the shotgun's fully loaded. Firing that shotgun and not left in my clip now. As you can see, when you're gonna dive, you'll lay on the ground and you can move around in full 
My ocean even that seems to be rolling as well. <laughs> Guy, did he have a weapon? I had to move quick, or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get back, but I knew the bad guys would want to I don't see why they didn't just shoot me. To almost start as with. much as I did. He's also trying to grab the camera. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. Goodbye, I. I don't know if I would have said this, um, but that's both been Aston Martin. It's got a similar badge, similar shape. I take it this is supposed to be a. Well, it looks like a Escalade to me. Bronco along oh, would slow them down, to top of my head. but not much. You'll see there's clues hidden around. You're supposed to look at these clues and well rich, it will basically kidnap. the collectibles. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? You can blind fire, which I'm sure there's more on them as well. Oh, that's how you blind fire. Wrong time to run around the corner and I'm testing my gun blind firing. You know. They're right. Shot his tire out and he crashed. Couldn't really shoot there because the guy trying to save in the van. Everything is okay. And the bullets could go through the van. But you know. He's got a nice little headshot with his football top Rodrigo on. Rodrigo was in the van. Maybe it was time to let him out. Boom. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. On. It's okay. Just stay right here. Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local. I take it he's telling them off for shooting that guy when you're alive. Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ah, ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Vamos. Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Time to fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. 
Different branch of the police, not Ufid, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff, politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too, come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. This is a loading screen. There is no loading screen, it's just videos. ready for bed. <coughs> That's the end of this chapter because in a second that um, fan turns into a helicopter and that begins the next chapter. So, I'll end the video here. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.